Hello, uh, Turan Agarwal here, and I would like to share with you my preferred technique of uh, sending DICOM files for um, review of cases. Uh, it seems to be that there is some difficulty and confusion in this regard, so uh, I would like to go ahead and clear that up. So, again, there are two types of uh, data that you can send someone. Uh, first, there is the wrap and go viewer CD, which is actually produced from within the 3D software itself. And secondly, is the DICOM data. Now, the DICOM data is the raw version of the 3D scan, allowing full editing and brings your information along with it to allow adjustments and plans and brings the nerve and CEREC data and all that with it. To export the DICOM data, this is actually done from the 2D side of the software from within Cydexis. Now, when you export DICOM data, you're going to produce two files. One is a folder and one is a DICOM file itself. Uh, both of these data, both of these uh, items are needed for the full DICOM set. Now, what I prefer everybody to do is actually on your desktop, but prior to exporting the data, right-click and go to New Folder and make a folder with the patient's name. So, for example, we'll just call this patient name and then put a dash agarwal. So what I know now is this is the patient's name and the doctor that's sending it or the office that's sending it. Now, the reason I do this is in the instance of exporting multiple files or multiple patients, uh, the files are by default named the same and they overwrite each other. So this way we can have an individual folder for each patient. So again, once we have the folder on the desktop saved, the next step will be inside Dexis. What I would like us to do is open the patient and here we have this patient opened up. Uh, so we have their data there. And we'll go to exam, export to DICOM media. And this will bring up a DICOM exam export. And um, <clears throat> you can look at the settings here. Again, typically, this is you don't need to adjust any of this. If you'd like, you can anonymize the data. Uh, my preference, if you're sending it to me, uh, not to do that. That way, when I send you the case back, I know which patient it's going to be for, so there's no confusion. But right here, you'll go ahead and browse to the area that we want to save the data to. We'll go to our desktop. And here we have our patient name Agarwal folder. We'll double click on the folder and now we'll click save. And now, uh, now we've told the computer that this is where we'd like the DICOM data to be saved. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to go ahead and go through the export of the DICOM data. Now again, what the software is doing here is it's taking the actual scan data and exporting it in a universal format that can be read by many different 3D softwares, not limited to just Galaxis and the Sirona software. Why do I want DICOM data versus a wrap and go CD? Again, the wrap and go CD is very nice. It allows me to see everything, but it doesn't allow me to edit it. It doesn't allow me to save the case. It doesn't allow me to export new plans. It doesn't allow me to correct any errors that are on there. For me to be able to do that, to really look through the volume properly, I need to have the DICOM data. So here we can see the Cydexis software is very close to being finished. And now our uh, DICOM data has been exported. So we'll go ahead and minimize this. We'll go to our patient name Agarwal folder. And we'll double click our folder here. And here in the folder, again, you can see that we have a DICOM RM folder and a DICOM DIR file. Again, both these items are needed to be able to uh, open and import the DICOM data. Now, we're not quite done yet. Okay. Now, again, these files are going to be pretty large files. So if we take a look at this, let's just see how large this is here. Uh, this is 275 megabytes. So to send this by email is not really going to be possible. So alternatives are to upload via FTP, Dropbox, different Hightail, different uh, systems like that. Uh, but 
What I have found more and more is that there's so many files in here. So for example, we go to the DICOM RM, you can just see how many folders there are here. All it takes is one file to be missing and suddenly the data is no good. So what I prefer for us to do at this point is to be able to upload a single zip file. So now the last step in this is we're going to right click, send to compressed zip folder. And now what the software is going to do is it's going to compress this folder including the DICOM data folder and the DICOM file itself. It's going to compress it into a single zip file on the desktop. So now we have a single zip file that went from being 275 megabytes down to 145 megabytes. And now when you send this, all the data will be sent to me in one single file. So now from here, you would upload this to your Dropbox, send it to me via our upload form. So I want the zip file because then that becomes a little bit easier for me and it ensures that the data integrity will be there. Again, thank you very much. I'm sorry that there's been some confusion in this regard, but uh, sending the DICOM data uh, will, one, allow me to edit anything that's going on. Two, it will put your nerves, implant plans, CEREC data, and all of those things uh, in the file, uh, in, the, in the image set, so that uh, I can take a look at the full system. Uh, thank you very much, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me.